This video is an introduction to participating in an Adobe Connect meeting. Although this recording was done on a computer running the Apple Mac operating system, the steps are the same on a PC. To begin with, you will need a URL provided by the meeting host. Either click on the link from within an email or launch a browser and enter the proper URL. Once the page loads, select the Enter as a Guest radio button and then type your full name. Click on the Enter Room button. This is what other participants will see. If the meeting is restricted, you will see this screen. Please wait until the host accepts your request to enter. Now that you're in the meeting, Let's explore the various options. The screen layout is configured by the host and therefore may look different from what you see now. The screen is broken into several windows or pods. A typical layout consists of a cameras pod, an attendee pod, a chat pod, and a share pod. There is also a menu bar at the top of the browser that will provide options for participants. The meeting menu allows you to run an audio setup wizard. This is only necessary if you will be using a microphone to speak. The speaker icon allows you to mute and unmute your computer. And the set status icon which looks like a person raising their hand, allows you to communicate with the presenter and participants through emoticons. The camera pod allows those with permissions to share a webcam. The attendee list pod shows the list of everyone involved in the meeting. The chat pod is where you can chat with everyone or privately with an individual participant and the share pod is where screen or document sharing is done. Now let's take a closer look at each pod. To start your webcam, you will first need camera permissions. Once granted, you will see a new icon pop up in the menu bar. Click on the webcam icon or click on the Start My Webcam button in the cameras pod. You might get a pop-up window requesting access to your camera. Select Allow, and then you will be able to see a preview of your camera. At this point, you're not yet broadcasting your video out to the other attendees. The final step is to click on the Start Sharing button, and now your video is being broadcast. You can pause your video at any time by clicking on the pause button in the bottom right corner of your video window. It looks like two rectangles. The button then changes to a play button. To go back to live video, just hit the play button. To stop your video altogether, just mouse up to the right corner of your video window and click on the X. To chat with everyone, just type your message into this window and hit enter on your keyboard or hit the send button in the chat window. To send a private chat, either mouse over the participant you want to speak with and select start private chat, or from the chat window you can select the start chat with and find the attendee you want to speak with and select enter. Please be respectful with your public and private chats. Screen sharing is controlled by hosts and presenters. But once something is being shared, you can make the share pod fill the screen by clicking on the full screen button in the upper right corner of the share pod. To return back to the standard layout, click the full screen button once again.
At this point, I would like to bring your attention to the green speaker icon in the menu bar. If your meeting notice provided a separate audio teleconference line, then you will want to click on the green speaker icon to mute your computer speakers. The icon should change to a white speaker. At this point, you will be able to dial the teleconference number by telephone. If you were not given a teleconference number, then audio will pass through your computer speakers. Therefore, make sure that your computer speakers are green. You are now ready to participate in an Adobe Connect meeting.